Hi guys, it's Chick Clermet, and you'll say, oh, Madam Nida, Chick Clermet Nida. So today I'm going to be talking about university and what I studied in university. So, actually, I went to university in Canada, and I studied chemical engineering. Many people who I tell this to when I meet them, they don't believe me. They say, oh, you never studied chemical engineering, you're full of it, you know. In Seoul, if you meet someone at like a foreigner bar or you like talk with some guys or even co-workers, you say, oh, what do you study in school? They're like, oh, I study chemical engineering. They'll be like, Tch, yeah, right. Or they'll be, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they'll, someone, they'll ask someone else, like, oh, what did he really study? Or did he really study that? So here's actually the proof. This is a engineering ring from Canada. You can only get this if you have a bachelor's degree in engineering from a Canadian university or a university from a country that Canada accredits or approves of and you work in Canada as a professional engineer. Currently, I'm not working as an engineer. I'm not a professional engineer. I just have a undergraduate bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. So I am I guess eligible to be a professional engineer if I work as an engineer in training for five years and then write the professional engineering exam. So there we go. There's my proof. So engineering, studying chemical engineering, also some places in other countries they call it process engineering. So it's very chemistry riching. So very many chemistry classes. I guess the funnest part about chemical engineering, again, chemistry classes. You get to do so many labs. The first year labs are similar, maybe with the arts and sciences and maybe other engineers, they all have to take a first year chemistry class in the first semester. And then maybe in the second semester, you can take a second chemistry class. And then after that, you get into third year classes and fourth year classes and some second year classes. Usually the chemical engineers they take chemistry like the first year, the second year, and some the third year. And then the fourth year, you don't really take chemistry classes, you take chemical engineering classes. So, actually, chemistry classes and chemical engineering classes are totally different. So, chemistry classes would be more arts and sciences, and chemical engineering classes are in the engineering section. So, I did take some extra chemistry classes. I took industrial chemistry, and then organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry and probably the funnest things about those classes were the labs. The labs doing them were very fun but writing up the reports were very 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 tedious and sometimes even really hard. Sometimes you'd be like oh yeah I got the best lab here and then you'd come back and ah! you know you get a low score or you didn't get the high score you know you feel bad but eventually if you study long enough, you can get this little bad boy. So I do have a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from a Canadian university. And what's very interesting is many, 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 many people, when they see me wear this ring, they identify me as someone with an engineering degree in Canada. In Korea, there are some people that have these rings. But lots of the times they're engineers from like Australia, the UK, even the USA. They'll be like, whoa, is that an engineering ring? And I'll be like, yeah. So this engineering ring, you actually get it through like maybe a ritual, right? When you get your bachelor's degree, it's kind of secret. I'm not going to go into it. But there's the engineering ring. But yeah, anyways, lots of people, when I say like I got... A degree in chemical engineering, they'll be, again, no you don't, or they'll be like, yeah, 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 and they'll talk to someone else, and they'll be like, I don't know, or nah, he doesn't. Happened to me before, you know, at work, you just tell someone, yeah, I have a degree in chemical engineering. They talk to someone else, they say, I know he doesn't, he doesn't do that. So, hmm, they're lost. So, who should study chemical engineering, or who should study engineering in, like, whole? So, if you're in high school right now, or if you're even out of high school and you know thinking about going back to university I'd say if you love math physics chemistry and some biology
probably chemical engineer is a good choice for you. If you're actually very good in chemistry and physics, I'd say chemical engineering is better than like studying chemistry because chemical engineering has way more options and you can actually go into chemistry or like pharmacy very easily from chemical engineering. From chemistry to chemical engineering is a little harder because chemistry has maybe like less math and less physics. Chemical engineering, once you get into CHE classes, so chemical engineering classes, they're mostly physics and chemistry based, but heavily, heavily, heavily based on physics and thermodynamics. The chemistry classes actually were the easy classes when I was in university. So third and fourth year chemistry classes, I loved them. They were super easy. They were like ice cream cake to the chemical engineer classes. The chemical engineering classes were very hard, you know, very repetitive, intensive. You, know, you have to solve projects, you know, you're in a room writing a test, three hours, you know, there's 60 other people, you know, you're writing, 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 writing. The test is too long, you know, you forget something, you know, you have to erase everything. The chemistry classes, lots of times, even in third and fourth year classes, they were multiple choice, so you know, you'd be like, you'd figure out an equation, you'd be like, oh, I got that, right there. Or even if you don't figure out an equation, you'd be like, oh, I'll just guess. But the chem engineer classes, <whistles> no multiple choice usually. So you'd get like an equation, like A, B, and then like a heater, C, like, or maybe E, F, G, and a condenser or evaporator, and you'd be like, oh my god. And then always assume adiabatic if you don't know what you're doing. Always assume adiabatic. So it's actually pretty fun, but it is really hard. So if you like, again, chemistry, math, physics, I'd say chemical engineering is good for you. It's I think maybe not good for you if you don't like chemistry or physics. If you struggle in chemistry and physics, I'd say don't take chemical engineering. But if you like math and physics, but you don't like chemistry, some engineering might be good for you. So if you like math and physics, maybe there's physics engineering, and then there's mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Electrical engineering is very interesting. If you're interested in like electronics, and stuff like that. Electrical engineering is probably the way to go. Or if you like computers, you like you know coding and messing around with programs. Computer engineering is probably the way for you. If you're more mechanical, like you like mechanical like trucks, you like building things, you like destroying things, you know you like tinkering with things. I think mechanical engineering be for you. There's also like environmental engineering. So if you're into the environment and you wanna like you know learn about the environment and help fix the environment with processes. There's environmental engineering. So I'd say if you want to be an engineer or you want to have an under, uh, undergraduate degree in engineering, it is doable if you want to, if you can put in the hard work and if you can study long hours. I'd say if you can't like put in long hours and study lots, you might want to take a, like half courses, do half courses and you'll turn a four year degree into maybe a six or seven year degree. But if you can do 100% to engineering in four years, it's completely doable in five years too. But if you, you know you want to do a little back, you know, half classes, half semesters, six, seven years is also pretty good. I did it in five years. I took some extra classes though. I took extra chemistry classes and I took some extra economics classes too. So I got a whole rounded. I took outside of I guess engineering some classes which were very interesting like the economics and some chemistry classes and actually took some arts classes which were very interesting. It was interesting to see how engineering classes relate and are totally different than arts classes. Arts classes they'll be more writing and you know more philosophy more having to think like not math but just like writing a story making stories you know correcting grammatical errors Whereas in engineering classes, it was like, you know, you get a math problem, you solve it, math problem, solve it. You get this problem here, you code it, and you, it goes through like the condenser, distiller, heater, vacuum, air conditioner, everything. It comes out the other end. If there's an error, you have to re-manipulate everything and then set it back through. 
In arts classes, it's more like memorization, like who wrote this book? And then how can this apply to real life situations? Like that, not really math based, just like philosophy and, you know, off the cusp. Whereas engineering is numbers, 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 numbers. So it's very interesting. So that's what I studied in school. I do have a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. There's the ring. I know many people maybe won't believe it, but there's actually been a couple comments in the past that said I didn't have a degree in engineering. Usually I just nicely say to them, yes I do, I have a degree, but lots of times they just get angry at me and say you're a liar, blah 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 blah. So I just, after a while, I just, okay. So thank you guys for watching. If any of you guys are in university, tell me what you're studying. How's it going for you guys? Are you guys studying engineering? You're in arts? You're in sciences? I think everything is okay. It's for your like skill level. If you want to go into arts, it's good. If you want to go into sciences, it's good. Engineering's good. Even law, you know, business, everything is good to your ability. Don't let other people tell you what to do. If you want to go into arts, go. If you want to go into business, go. If you want to go into engineering, go. But don't be afraid to fail and change your subjects. I actually went into engineering from high school. I just went from, from high school to engineering, straight through, graduated. And then I thought about it, I came to Korea. There's another story down below, maybe two months ago, in December, about me coming to Korea. Maybe you guys can look at it. Uh, maybe we'll leave a post up here, up here, or maybe down below. So thank you guys for watching my videos again. Leave a like. Leave a comment, leave a subscribe, check it all out.